Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Um, this message is for the prophetic class. I did get all of your homework assignments. I am still a little bit under the weather. I like to say it like that. I don't want to claim nothing. Although I'm sucking on Theraflu and it's rainy and oh, it's so cold and ugly out here. But God is still good. Plus I'm still moving. So I just wanted you all to know because um, I like to I like to sit down and actually read what you guys send me. I, I do read it. I don't just, you know, skim through it. I read it because I want to know the intensity and perplexity and spirit that you wrote what you wrote and who you are in the spirit. So I, I take every homework assignment very seriously, meaning that I, I, and I really appreciate the ones that, man, I, I'm not going to lie. This class, you guys went in depth and I appreciate that before God. Um, I'm just a servant, but I know God read it. I know God saw it. I mean, you guys were flowing. I know we had a lot of warfare. That's going to be to the day we die. So y'all might as well get used to that point blank in the story. But that's what pushes out the anointing. That's what pushes out the oral. You see, I'm going to tell you something. When I started this journey, <laughs> I thought it was going to be easy because of what I've been through. You know, we think we're tough. We think we're rough. But I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that warfare made me go deeper. That warfare made me get closer to God because honestly, and, and I'm going to warn y'all, quit lying. Oh, and this, this is not for the class. This is for everybody. Quit lying talking about you an apostle, prophet, evangelist, minister, and all that. If you don't walk in those offices, I'm telling you, the warfare... At the level of your calling and gap, talent and gift and anointing will be the level of your warfare. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you are not processed, it's going to back you up. And, and let's be real. I'm going real, real with y'all tonight. Let me tell y'all something like I always do. Even if you are processed, I'm processed. I know that word. That's all I got is God. Y'all ain't ready for me. And I still sometimes be like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But then I, I'm going to tell y'all, when people get hit, the first thing you're supposed to do is calm down. Because the first thing we want to do is panic and get upset and angry. And, and all, always ask God, why God, why God? No, we got to calm down. God, okay, what you want me to learn from this? What, what do you want me to do about this? And you have to wait for instructions. That's why a lot of people don't pass the test. I promise you, as long as we live, y'all don't understand why David said in Psalm 23, he says, God says, I will bless you in the presence of your enemies. The enemies will always be there. And guess what? At the same time, oh, come on, somebody. They are always there. As a matter of fact, they've always been there. The only reason we recognize you are more anointed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? That's the only way I could walk the way I walk, talk the way I talk. I'm not special, but I do what it takes, meaning that if I got to get in my word, if I got to fast, if I got to pray, if I got to calm my spirit down, hallelujah, that, that's the first thing you got to be clear to hear. I told y'all this. And the reason why I, I'm incorporating this in what I'm saying tonight is warfare is real. It's heavy. And I promise you it's getting heavier. You guys, in this season, this stuff got to be real. In this season, your anointing has to be real. Because if not, it's getting heavier out there. Oh, come on, somebody. And the, and God has allowed the enemy to test us. You see, right now, it's the wheat and the tares. God is seeing who's who. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What you going to do for a little change? You going to lie still, do what you do? Y'all understand what I'm saying. You going to wait on God. God, I'm going to wait on you. I don't understand why you are allowing this. But I, I, I trust you. You got to be like Job. Although he slay me, yet I will trust in him. I will pray. I will keep my, 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 my mouth. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Some of you are speaking some things. Stop speaking the problem and speak the promise. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Another thing. Another nugget. This is very powerful. When people do you wrong, don't, you can vent about it because we're human. But keep your mouth off them. Bless them and watch God do it. God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Don't you know that when you start talking and saying bad stuff, that takes the power from God. But when you say, I bless you, oh, I'm going to bless you, hallelujah, then God has to move because he said, vengeance is mine, hallelujah. Keep your mouth off him and watch God do it. You ain't got to wish none because that's cursing people and that's witchcraft. All that wishing, getting mad, cussing, fussing on Facebook, trying to be slick about it too. And some of y'all just bold about it. God going to get you. God going to get you. It's a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing to come against a man and woman 
of God without authority, meaning that you weren't authorized. So unless it's a dust said the Lord, keep your mouth off people. Point blank. I only go so far. I had to learn that. And y'all know that if y'all been watching me, I used to be off the chain. You know, I was saying the right thing, but with the wrong spirit. I'm gonna be real with you. And I had to learn that. So I just wanted to get up on here. I'm waiting for somebody. There she comes. <laughs> wow all right you guys i love you guys god bless you this is apostle deanna dixon roll our soldiers for that is who we are god bless